this is a bird. She's the next street over. And then back there you got Beach Street. We have Beechcraft that owns quite a bit all the way up here. Uh, some on my street. Um, and uh, North Beach is where the um, sewer leakage started. You have a lot of rundown, condemnable <laughs> houses. And so if you have a sewage leak up like you did beach, the main line, um, it can get in the main line and it could affect this whole block or this whole street um, and the streets next to it in that area. Um, and a lot of the urban coy uh, coyotes uh, wander in and off uh, beach craft property. Um, they don't own the coyotes, so, um, but, but, um, it, I just kind of want people to get the idea that it's not just residences that could be affected by it. Um, we have, you have a Plate Safety International School up here too, up by Beechcraft. Um, you have a restaurant down here, uh, chain restaurant franchise Quiznos you have an insurance up here around the corner on the bend um, but we can kind of consider this uh, right here East Central and if you go down here again you got some residences down here again this is a a little bit rundown section a lot of people don't realize that there's you know some residences tucked in here in between the businesses the restaurants So that's, uh, this is kind of just the area, so it's not like it's um, just in the middle of nowhere that this is going on. It's actually in your city. Um, so if you have an urban coyote problem and they're carrying um, a chinococcus, it could very well um, get in the main line here if people get people could get sick and not realize it. Um, you could have another parasite that would do that. Uh, you have a lot of empty houses up here. So, you know, the rent probably up here is pretty cheap and a lot of people probably, you know, they, they uh, rent because it's not ex as um, expensive as other parts of the city. Um, it's not really directly downtown. But you still have quite a few businesses. So if you have a leakage, it could go on to another business property, contaminate the soil, um, contaminate the water. And if that main line also affects the businesses here, they could get that in their water. Um, So we'll just consider this part two. And the reason why I'm doing this section is that we're gonna go up on the other end um, where there's a little bit more woodsy areas too. But, the, but you have residences tucked in with businesses with urban coyotes not being too far away with open waterway or a river. Um, maybe we got Jimmy's egg up here, farmer's insurance. In fact, if you walk uh, down here at night sometimes, you can hear the coyotes uh, yipping. Uh, some of them howl, so they might be a koi dog or a koi uh, wolf mix, mixed in with the coyotes too. Um, usually coyotes yip, uh, whereas a koi wolf won't, they, they'll howl. Um, so you can walk down the street down here at night if you're one that likes to go for a stroll and you could hear the coyotes and it could be quite nearby. Um, nobody's been bitten by any of them yet, so it's not, it's, uh, you know, but um, it's still a, it's still an issue. And if they're sick, you, 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 you may, you know, you may not, um, removal is not necessarily an option. Because then what happens is you take, if you remove a coyote or a bunch of coyotes that are sick with this particular worm or 
several species of that worm, it's going to get into the new environment, and then other animals are going to get affected by them. So it's just better, unfortunately, to put them down if they're sick like that. This is Jimmy's egg. And you got a cake company out here, and here you have a, a busy street intersection. You have law offices. So you have quite a few businesses here that could have been affected um, by a leak that could have gotten into the main water supply. And of course, if you go from septic, it's not going to go directly into your table water, but they, you know, with waste management, it does go through a process, but nevertheless, it still could get into the main line. And it could affect the community and those that are connected to that main line.